if y is not equal to one, is x equal to one? So uh, all we know really from our prompt here is y cannot be equal to one. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, so they're asking us is x equal to one. So that means if we are able to come up with some values for x and say we come up with x can be you know, rad two or rad three, or it can be equal to one fourth, uh, think about what this means. This would mean uh, all of these, even though we have different values for x here, uh, none of them are equal to one. So uh, as of now, based on these values, this would be sufficient. It would be sufficient to say no, because uh, what we want to find if we're trying to prove insufficiency, we need one value for x that is equal to one uh, and one value that is not equal to one. And right now we only have values not equal to one. So keep that uh, in mind here. Uh, so statement one says x squared plus y squared is equal to one. So let's see if we can, uh, so can x be equal to one? So if x is equal to one, uh, that means y has to be equal to zero, which that is fine. All that matters is y cannot be equal to one. So uh, now can we come up with the same thing where x is not equal uh, to one? So it looks like x could be equal to uh, negative one. And then y is the same thing. Y is still got to be zero. So uh, this is insufficient because x can be equal to one or it could be equal to something other than one. Uh, statement two, y is equal to one minus x. So, so let's see here. So can x be equal to one if x is equal to one? Uh, y is equal to zero. So, uh, this so far is good. In fact, we got that example uh, from the first statement. Uh, what if uh, x is equal to two? Uh, then y would be equal to negative one. And that is fine, because all that matters is y can't be equal to one. So this statement here is also insufficient. So now, what should we do looking at them together? Uh, so let me, if I try plugging in one minus x in for y, uh, in my first my, my first statement, I get x squared plus one minus x squared is equal to one. And uh, if I distribute this out, this gives me x squared plus one squared, which is one. Uh, then it'll be minus two x plus x squared uh, is equal to one. So now if I uh, start combining things. X squared plus X squared is two X squared. It looks like my ones cancel out. So I have a uh, two X squared minus two X is equal to zero. Uh, and this tells me then I can factor out a two X. So it'll be two X times X minus one is equal to zero. So what does this mean for x? x can either be equal to one uh, or x can be equal to zero. Now, before we say, uh, okay, insufficient, because it could be equal to one or it could not be equal to one, we have to check, because uh, we have to make sure that for each of these values, y is still not equal uh, to one. Because uh, if it is, it's an erroneous solution. Uh, so if x is equal to one, uh, y would be equal to zero. So uh, this is okay, because y can be equal to zero, which we've already shown before. But if x is equal to zero, uh -oh, what happens? y is equal to one, and that is not allowed. So really, we only have one solution for x. x is equal to one, and together it is sufficient to say yes. See.